DIP has been a, been a huge uh, positive for the area. It's great to have that extra little bit of an income um, and, and protect the archaeology at the same time. So I think it's a win-win for the farmer and for the, the, the archaeological sites that it is in Rackrochen. The local community recognised that there was a need uh, to manage the archaeological, the farming, the cultural and heritage aspect of this very important, significant area in County Roscommon. It is characterised by the central mound of Rack Crohan, which is just outside the road in Tusk. This is a vast archaeological area of 240 archaeological features, 70 of which are national monuments, which are protected by the state under legislation and statutory requirements. And we have, it is a landscape that is very rich in history and heritage and mythological. It, it is three pillars of it really. You have the archaeology itself, which is going back thousands of years. You have a farming tradition, which has existed for as long as that and is an equal pillar. And the third pillar really is the cultural and heritage. We all know about Queen Maeve and the Thornbo Coolnia. This is where it all started. This is a landscape that ha is in the folklore and is in the history of the county. So back in 2019, the farming Rakrahan was granted 984,000 uh, for over a five year period to support the uh, farming in the area. Now, uh, farming Rakrahan kind of, we manage 75% of the core area of the archeological area around here. Um, and we have currently over 40 farmers in the scheme. We started off with eight, that has gone up to 30 full-time farmers and 12 trainee farmers. So all of these farmers we uh, uh, engage with and consult with on an annual basis and we have do two visits per year to each of the farms. We identify a number of actions that need to be undertaken as part of protecting the landscape, protecting the monuments and supporting the farmers in their needs. Now we have developed a, a huge range of farming products as well at the moment to support that. In the, in the project office here, we have developed scratching posts, resting frames, bespoke fencing. Um, uh, we protect the water areas. We, we repair certain monuments at particular times. We engage in specific trialing works at certain, certain sites, which we did this year at Ratna Darv, the sites as well. And we encourage the farmers to engage in well, a, a tr farmer training program. So this year alone, we would have run farmer training for dry stone wall, hedge laying, environmental friendly farming. And we'll be doing more of this as part of the Heritage Week this year as well. And we also have introduced uh, kind of direct Crohan gates, which people might know the old traditional farm gates, the wrought iron gates. So these are bespoke rack Crohan gates, similarly of the same design, but with the little bulls on them as well. Now these are proving very popular. The idea of those is we want to introduce that back into the landscape as part of a built heritage nature and to give it a sense of pride of place and to recognise the area as very specific so that when you come through Tulsk and you come into this area you will know and we will, we will shortly have signs erected which will state that you are now entering the farming Rack Crohan landscape. The type of farming we're doing here I suppose uh, we're finishing cattle maybe 750 to 800 kilos plus live weight so I suppose we poaching would be one of the problems we'd have on the land so I suppose the scheme helped uh, you know different type of management and that from that point of view uh, where we feed cattle and that. Uh, we've also uh, other work we've done is uh, some of the national monuments we have on the land we, we've put resting frames on it. Uh, we have a lot of restrictions here for, for farming because of the archaeology and I suppose they were seen as a, probably a negative but uh, now with the EIP the archaeology now is, is a positive because uh, you know, the people are getting paid now for, for mining the archaeology and, and the landscape. It's not just about the, the, the physical archaeology that you can see in Rackrohan. There's a lot of archaeology that's underground, maybe that you can only see from aerial pictures or geophysics or things like that. So it, it's a landscape based uh, EIP as well, really. One of the big issues was trying to change that mindset around the whole idea of the archaeology is, not, is, is should not be viewed as a negative so I think we've changed that substantially in that the farmers see it as something that they are happy to be involved in as long as there's a structure there we have a very sound governance 
in this in the scheme it is really a partnership approach and we have a number of representative stakeholders uh, on, on the operational group which include the National Monument Service, uh, two representatives from the University of Galway for the academic expertise and knowledge, we have representatives from Anchagast, we have representatives from the Heritage Office uh, and we have uh, representatives from the Rackrohan Visitor Centre as well because the project is very much a sister project. Uh, we are also developing new st partnership strands over the next couple of years as well, which will see us partner with the Roscommon Leader Partnership under their Climate Actions Programme and Erasmus Programme. I'm looking forward to working with them. We'll be also working closely with the Fudge Ireland uh, for the Rackrohan Place Partnership project and we hope to be working much more closely with the Roscommon County Council under their climate action strategy because we feel that the project is well positioned to deliver aspects of the climate agenda for the county as well. And it's a locally led approach. It's important to remember that this wasn't something that was just foistered down on top of these people by government or anything. This was something that was locally led by the people themselves with a proper engagement and consultation and they now see it as something that they're concerned about for the future as well. We also work extremely cl closely with Rackrahan Visitor Centre. We are a sister uh, project as well. So we're, we're kind of the one but with two separate little little arms. Now the farming, the Rackrahan are introducing uh, an important innovation in terms of they got uh, almost half a million euros to uh, introduce a Waymark Loop Walk. Now this is a, a game changer in terms of how the future of this area will be managed which for the first time you will have a structured loop walk system within the farming landscape. I suppose the key message we want to get out here as part of the Farming Rakrahan project and as part of the Rakrahan Visitor Centre is that this is about preserving the past and protecting the future. That's, that's our motto really at the moment and um, that the fact is that we're, we're acutely conscious of the archaeological the history and the heritage of it as well. But allied to that, we are also conscious of the fact of how we protect the landscape going into the future and how we manage the landscape given the pressures that are on agriculture at the moment and to keep that relationship and to protect the environment as part of it and to constantly look at the climate agenda as well, which we can't ignore, which we're going to dominate conversations around agriculture and farming and all the rest of it. So I think the project is very well positioned to kind of adapt to any recommendations that come down the front. Important to remember that the project is, is uh, constantly evolving. Uh, it's never complete because it can never be complete because uh, we the, the project needs to get regenerated and renewed if at all possible and it's an evolving process and the farmers uh, need to be supported with the work that they are doing. Um, the farmers are the custodians and have been for generations in this part of the world um, and so it's important that we acknowledge the dedication and commitment and support that they have given to the project and in my view they are the real heroes of this project.